once Ubuntu has been installed on VirtualBox, you'll likely want to install the guest editions, mostly to support better screen resolution, but also to support copy and paste and other features in your virtual machine. Installing the guest editions on Ubuntu does have a couple of pitfalls, uh, mainly depending on whether you use the Ubuntu minimal installation and also based on your video drivers. So we're gonna install the guest editions and we're gonna pay attention to those two potential issues. First thing I wanna do is open up a terminal and I'm also going to increase the font size a little bit to make it a little bit easier to see. But the reason we don't have good resolution right now is because we haven't installed the guest editions yet. So you see how small the virtual machine screen is. It's basically gonna be limited to probably 800 by 600. You can check this with XRander and you'll see that we're currently maxed out at 800 by 600. So we're gonna go up to the menu here on the virtual box window and we're gonna insert the guest editions CD. That'll be mounted at under the media folder. You can see an icon up here over here as well. So we're gonna run the installer from that installation and then from that we'll see the first problem that we're gonna have. But the installation is gonna be found under media and then your account name and then the name of the virtual CD itself and in this case, we're running Linux. So we're gonna run the Linux installation, which is called VBox Linux editions.run. Notice that we're gonna run that with sudo. So we put in our sudo password and the installation starts. And it'll install the software and the modules by copying that off of the virtual disk. But one of the problems that you'll notice if you look really carefully is that it'll say, the system is not set up to build kernel modules. This is gonna prevent a lot of the dynamic kernel module support that you need in order to get the guest editions to work. Right here, it tells you the solution, which is to install GCC and make and the Perl packages from the distribution. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install those sudo apt install, and then those three different software programs. So now these programs are installing, they get downloaded, and then they uh, get un uncompressed or unzipped, and then they're installed. And that process can take anywhere from 30 seconds to a few minutes. It really depends on the computer speed and also the download speeds. So once these three software programs are installed, we're gonna rerun the installation program again with, again, with sudo. And this time when we run it, what'll happen is, is the installer is actually gonna be able to build the kernel modules. So we just arrow up, rerun the VBox Linux editions.run. And you'll notice that it'll copy over the modules a second time. But the next thing it does is it starts building the kernel modules for whatever kernel that you happen to have running at the moment. If you have other kernels that are archived, it won't build those modules, but it'll build for the one that the system is running at the moment. Once this process gets done, it's gonna tell you that you have to reboot the system. So we'll go ahead and do the reboot. That'll allow the kernel module to get put into the operating system. And when the operating system boots, it'll run the kernel module. And so it'll be running these VirtualBox services in the background after the reboot, which will give us a lot of capabilities. That's gonna lead us into the second problem, which is a lot of folks are experiencing an issue where even after they get all this done, the screen resolution still isn't that great. And if they go up to the menu here, so they go to view and then they say, okay, auto resize the guest display. It's not auto resizing. Well, the next trick is to go up to the menu here and change your view to a higher resolution and that'll essentially activate the higher resolutions. So before we do that, I'm gonna open up the terminal again 
and I'm going to run that X Rander one more time, and you'll see that we're capped out at 800 to 600. So we're going to go up to View, and then Virtual Screen One, and we're going to go ahead and resize. And let's say we'll resize to 1440. Right, so we do the resize, and you notice that works. Now, if I do the X Rander, you'll notice that the extra resolution has been activated. And if we go up to view and auto resize the guest display, the resize now works.